I wanted to do a quick video of how I made my guitar pickup winder. Um, I bought this winder here. It's a hand winder. I bought this off of Amazon for about $40, I think. It has this little hand crank. It connects to here. You wind it. It's okay, but I don't think it's good for, you know, 8,000 winds. You get a little tired. Uh, also, the counter broke. Like I say, for 40 bucks, it serves its purpose. It's fine. Um, the counter is inconsistent. Sometimes the numbers don't count. So I did buy this counter right here off of eBay for, I believe, $5. <clears throat> it's pretty accurate. Not bad. Saw a machine motor. Uh, I stole that off my wife's saw machine that never gets used. Mounted everything to the board here. Um, seems to work okay. No complaints. So all I did was just cut a couple pieces of wood, mounted the motor, mounted the winder itself. Uh, I came with all this. I built the pickup holder out of MDF and rounded it off. So I used the compass to make it circle, rounded it off so you could uh, kind of weave the wire to the sides a bit to, to get the, uh, the coil right next to the bobbins a little better. To make the counter function properly, I put a, I picked up these um, rare earth magnets from Harbor Freight, I don't know, two bucks maybe. Just a dab of JB Weld, and that was it. The mechanism uh, for the counter came from, like everybody uses one of those little window alarms or door alarms from the dollar store. I bought three of them. And if you don't know they are already, you open up that little alarm that you buy and there's a little glass switch mechanism thing that's actuated by um, a magnet. So as the magnet passes over this, it'll count. Uh, I just used thermometer wire. And I left it like this instead of hard mounting it just so I could find out how it works the best and where it's the most accurate. I may mount that to a piece of wood, but right now it's flexible, it's easy. Um, I connected the counter using alligator clips. That way I can take it off and change the batteries inside or do whatever. Uh, just used a, a simple extension cord. And now I get the foot pedal, so life is easy. I can, two hands, um, to hold the spool. All I did was drill a hole, pounded the bobbin through it, I'm not the bobbin, the dowel through it. That way this guy can sit on the floor and they can feed the, the wire uh, up through the, um, through the pickup here. So you can see it, uh, put him to the side there. That's it. It looks like it wobbles a bit, but it's pretty fine. I don't have any issues with it. It seems to spool correctly. Um, it's centered, which is, you know, the big point. The uh, MDF, like I say, it looks wobbly. It looks like crap, but it works. You know, I've got, I don't know, a couple bucks in this thing. I think a saw machine motor on, on Amazon is 26 bucks. And that comes with the foot pedal. So no complaints on that. I mean, so for 26 bucks for the motor, uh, I think the belt was seven, 40 something dollars for the winder itself. And the rest of the stuff I just had laying around the house. Uh, like I say, just screw a little, put a screw through the middle. I did have to tap out the, uh, the center of the bolt just a little bit that way uh you know i could screw the the uh the pickup in the end there but seems to work fine for me no complaints uh, i've done well a bunch of these so far um this is the first i've used the motor i've only done a few with the motor hooked up to it works out pretty good previously i had a, a socket connected to uh to this right here and i would just connect my um my drill to it 
to make it uh, go by itself. Like I say, trying to wind that son of a gun is a nightmare. This works fine for me. Less than a hundred bucks. Good to go.